Hello everyone, my name is Smallcast, and welcome to my first ever actual created YouTube video. So, I have been watching a lot of the hermits trying to move shulkers out of the end. And I found that the method that they're using is difficult, it requires button spam, the shulker doesn't always move the way you would expect it to. So I'm going to show you how to do the method that I used recently working on the how do we get your achievement. This is something that was developed um, with the input of my Twitch chat. Uh, specifically, Marcus117D had a really good idea um, that ended up kind of creating our method. So we're going to load into a creative test world uh, just to figure out how we're going to do this. But really quick, since we're in creative, we're going to use the locate button locate command and then we're going to locate a stronghold so we found the coordinates we're going to teleport ourselves there teleported me i'm going to go into spectator mode so that we can actually find our stronghold and we just need to find the end portal wow this is a terrible stronghold <laughs> uh so we're going to go back into creative we need some eyes of ender Activating the portal, and we're going to hop on through. Uh, so normally in survival you'd kill the dragon and all that jazz. We're going to kill it with commands. Wait. Exclamation point, hashtag, Minecraft. Minecraft Ender Dragon. All right, Ender Dragon is dead. Our portal is unlocked. We actually need to move the egg. So get that guy out of here. We didn't actually move it, we broke it, but that's fine. So, in survival, normally what you would do is you would spam buttons all around the end portal within a certain block radius so that whenever you break the minecart that the shulker is in, it can't escape. So basically, all you're going to need to use this method is some minecart track. Um, a few, basically, placeholder blocks. You might want to use a minecart furnace, but you don't really need to. You actually really only need to use an actual minecart. So what you're going to do is you're going to get your, you're going to do is you're going to get your shulker. You're going to get him into a minecart like you normally would and bring him from an end city. Now, you want to push the shulker towards this. Ideally, you're going to be invisible for this portion. Now, we want the shulker to fall into the thing. Right. Perfect. Now, normally, this would be a problem because now you can't see the hitbox. F3 and B for a hitbox. You can't see the hitbox of the minecart. But that's not actually an issue. So we're going to break that. It's very important that we break all of the blocks um, surrounding the shulker, and it just is sitting here in the end portal. By having the TNT up at an angle like that, um, basically what we're doing is we're taking advantage of the fact that in Minecraft, blasts are directional. So because the TNT explodes upwards and there's technically nothing blocking it, it breaks the minecart with the shulker already inside the end portal. We hop through. There should be a shulker right here. Now, you're going to want to get some splash potions of health and give this guy a little splash he's going to be very injured but you have one shulker in the overworld with no button spam no spawn proofing and relatively little difficulty so i'm going to show basically what we did one more time we're going to go back
Um, first of all, if your shulker is already injured when you do this, if it has lost health at all, it's probably going to die. So it's very important that your shulker is at full health before you do any of this uh, stuff. Okay, yeah, he went in perfectly. Second, you have to break that block there. It's a very good practice that once your shulker's here, give him a couple splash potions just so that he's at full health. And finally, probably the most important part of this is the directionality of the TNT placement. If you place and activate your TNT from any other angle other than from here, um, I don't know why that button's not loading in. That's weird. Break this. What happens is the TNT won't balance on top of this pillar of bedrock, and the shulker will not go through the portal correctly. Instead, it will die. So you have to blow up the TNT from the other side. But we have two shulkers in the overworld, relatively undamaged. A couple splash potions, and they're good to go. This method works in survival as well as creative. Uh, it's relatively cheap and easy, um, and it's repeatable. So really simple, minecart, rails, shulker, some TNT, and a button, and a couple of just blocks and maybe some splash potions, uh, depending on how easily you moved your shulker from one place to the other. But with this method, you can get a shulker out of the end, quick and easy, um, and I think it'll be a better method for people moving forward, especially if you're in the tech community and you need to move shulkers. So thank you so much for watching. I have been Small Cats. Also, thank you so much to my Twitch chat for giving me this idea and doing science and coming up with it. It was really fun. I appreciate you all.